So the first one, this question is basically asking us, can find three different representations of the same coordinate point? So the first thing, guys, is let's just go ahead and graph the point. If we graph this point, 7 pi over 6, we should know, guys, is in the third quadrant. So that would be your point. Ring 2, right there. Now, basically what it's asking is, find another way to represent the exact same point, but with a different like, representation. So in this case, we use the positive angle. Could we also use the negative angle? Negative angle would be negative 5 pi over 6. Agreed? Now, hopefully you guys recognize it. You're like, oh, well, if, as long as you have your radius of 2, then you could just do coterminal angles. So there's actually infinite many answers of this, right? You could just keep on adding and subtracting 2 pi. So if we added 2 pi to this, that would be 19 pi over 6. If I subtracted 2 pi from this, I'd get uh, negative 17 pi over 6. And you guys can start seeing there's a lot of answers. So probably a multiple choice would probably be a good type of question you know, for this one. Um, so you can keep on doing that. But it's not as simple as that. So remember how I said the radius, when we looked at the unit circle, is a scalar, right? It's a scalar. Yes, it does represent the distance away from the center, but it's a scalar. So what that means is this is important. When I do this, if I was going to do my x equals um, r cosine of theta and x equals r sine of theta, for any one of these points, pick any one, even that one, pick any one of them. The cosine, the cosine of that angle is what, positive or negative? For any one of these angles, what is the cosine? Well, it's in the second quadrant. It's in the third quadrant, so it should be negative, right? And then the radius for all of these is positive. Positive times a negative is always going to give you a negative, right? For the sine, the sine in this quadrant is always negative, right? And the radius here is positive. So x is going to equal a positive times a negative. Now, what is another, what is another point here? So. Remember when I was doing this, you guys agree with me that this point in the first quadrant, the point that has the same reference angle, is the same coordinate point. Like this coordinate point is really, what, square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half? And oops, I'm, let me do that in blue. This point, I'm sorry, is negative square root of 3 over 2 negative 1 half. So this point in blue is square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Yes? They're the same points. This one's negative. I don't like how small that is. Isn't that for the inner one? What? Why is it x? Yeah, isn't that for the unit circle, not like sorry, the radius of 2? Yes, I'm sorry. That's for these points. Yeah. There you go. Good, good like clarification, right? That point. Now, again, if it's for the second point, then you just multiply it by 2, right? For this point, you just multiply it by 2. What if I multiply this by a negative <coughs> 2? What if I multiply this by a negative 2 instead of a positive 2? It's a scalar, right? You can multiply by a positive or a negative. So what that's going to do is think about it. That's going to make this. So then this would be x equals r cosine of theta. My r is now negative, and what's my cosine? Positive. Over, no, before you multiply it, but what is the cosine? Positive. positive. Negative times a positive is? Negative. negative. So in here, same thing is going to happen. x equals r sine of theta. My r is now negative, but my sine is positive. x is equal to a negative. I don't know why I wrote that in there. So what the important thing is, guys, you can have your scalar be negative, and that will reflect it. So basically, what you can see is that point reflects it across the origin here. And actually, I want to use these as, let's put this as a 2. Rather than using a circle here, let's multiply by 2, right? So if I want to represent this point with a negative version, what I can do is I can create this angle, whatever this angle, with a scalar of negative 2. So therefore, I could have negative 2, comma, um, oh, I'm sorry, I could write this as negative 2 comma pi over 6. Isn't that the radius there? Or isn't 2 the radius there? And 
And then think of the negative as the scalar. Don't think of it as the radius. So the negative is the, sc is the negative scalar. 2 is the radius. And then isn't pi over 6 what this angle is? Yeah. All right? And you guys can see that this is a, or this is a symmetry about the origin. Um, and then another one you could do, you could do the negative version. Negative 5 pi over 6. So now you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different representations I just gave you. And you only need to find 3. Now, some of you might be saying, OK, that kind of got a little confusing, a little weird. Like, let's look at 